Okay guys, so we've got the foundation done and now I'm gonna be building up the rock wall. I've been, I've been dreaming of this particular project ever since we bought the place. I knew I was gonna to have to build a, a, a wall here around the culvert to stabilize our driveway right here. But once I do that and I backfill this, it's gonna add about four feet to the width of the driveway across the culvert. I can't wait. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. I'm gonna start with some mortar in here with some smaller rocks and build up around and I'm gonna start laying some rocks right here. I'm just gonna be doing a, uh, one strip right here and the cement that's over there is gonna act as a cantilever to help stabilize this rock wall. Okay guys, I'm gonna start right here in the corner. I'm gonna get some mortar in there. And I'm going to spread that out. It's okay if I get a bunch in there. I'm gonna actually poke it in there. And then this rock has got a little bit of a point to it. I'm gonna wedge that sucker in there. There we go. First stone is laid. There we go. I'm trying to get the, the faces to face out a little bit. There we go. some mortar in the cracks there. Make sure I got mortar everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry overnight before I start stacking any more rocks. And uh, once it dries, I'm actually gonna put some backfill in there and pack it and uh, work my way up. And then as I get to the, a little higher, I'm gonna put some longer pieces from here and tie them into the hillside. I'm going through and I'm tucking in the mortar, making sure all that my cracks are filled. I know, you guys are gonna leave me a comment and you're gonna tell me, that's gonna dry out your hands. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna make sure to rinse my hands off right away. But I'm tucking in the cement, making sure I have it all these little cracks. dry overnight and then we will commence with round two tomorrow are you guys ready to go play huh you guys ready to go play yeah okay, let's go play let's go play okay guys day two let's go check out the rock wall i am pretty sure it's all solid and yeah, we're gonna do round two on the retaining wall for the culvert i'm gonna do a little back feeling right now here we go 
What are you doing? Get down, dummy. You gonna go in the tunnel? Yeah? All right, let's check this out. Oh yeah. Oh, this is solid, man. Holy smokes, that grout works good. Ugh. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh man. I'm gonna kick it. Wow. Oh, that one came undone. Okay, I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put some new grout in there. Huh. These are pretty darn solid though. Everything else is solid. Those are solid rocks here. This one didn't have a whole lot of grout underneath of it, so that one was. I'll put some new grout underneath this one. I should have had more grout. Okay, we're gonna back, I'm gonna backfill right now on both of these and uh, go from there. All right guys, I've put what they call a lift. I've done four lifts, actually five lifts. Packed each one of them nice and tight. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on here just to make sure. And I'm gonna put some more rock on here. The dirt behind the rock wall is as important as the, as the rock wall. If this isn't compacted, you'll allow for water to get in there and start eroding underneath the rock wall. That's why I did the cement, cement foundation as well so that we would have uh, a solid foundation down there. That's 400 pounds down there. This isn't gonna go anywhere. It's kind of like playing Tetris. Gotta see how these fit the best. Lock them in as tight as I can, pop them out, put the mortar in, call it a day. got row number two is on and I'm gonna let that dry overnight and I'm gonna backfill it and pack it really really tight and uh, then we're gonna do the next lift up here and get some more stone on here so it's looking pretty good not bad for day two What do you got? You guys gonna go in there? You guys gonna go play in the tunnel again? Huh? You guys gonna go play in the tunnel again? Morning guys, so this is, I don't know, day five or six that I've been working on this culvert right here. And uh, just about, just about done here. I'm gonna do one more row up here and then try and get this as level as I can. And then I'm gonna be putting these concrete blocks on. So if you guys haven't seen the video where we took out the base, made a basement door and cut out the concrete, we had these pieces of concrete that were left over and I'm gonna be putting those right along the top of here. I'm gonna put three along here as like a border. And those are gonna be probably right about here. So I really do need to go up another about foot or so. And then I'm gonna have those concrete blocks right here at the edge, kind of like a curb. So I need to do this backfill first and pack all that. And that's what we're gonna do right now. That's the kind of home study wife y'all need right there. How cool of a rock is that? That thing is super cool. I wonder if I can fill in this corner though with another rock. And that edge is so perfectly straight. What do you guys think? 
incorporating a piece of cement in here. It's got a piece of rebar in here. This is all stuck in here. So you guys can see, you can see that piece I stuck in there. It almost looks like just a regular piece of rock. Same thing as that one. You can't even hardly tell. It's the same color as everything else. All right, guys, you can see I've got about, uh, I'm gonna say 18 inches or so to go. And those concrete, and those concrete bed boys are about 10 inches in diameter. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking one more row, guys, of rock on top of this. And uh, you can see that uh, the last time I forgot to kind of use my fingers to kind of push the concrete in to kind of smooth out a little bit and it's kind of rough through there. So I'll get a wire brush and kind of pick that and kind of clean that up a little bit. I did a pretty good job down, down in these areas, but up here I try to use my fingers to push the concrete in a little bit and uh, make it look a little nicer, uh, especially if you know people are going to be looking at this thing. Not that everybody's going to be looking at it, but uh, you know some people are going to want to see it. <clears throat> you all are seeing it. I want to do a good job. I want it to look nice. So I probably should have filled in that hole with something, put another rock in there at some point. Maybe I can still find a rock that will fit in there. Put, to put some concrete in there but uh, i'm gonna do one more row guys and then after that i gotta let this thing set up backfill it some more and then i'm gonna put my capstones along the top and uh as you can see i've got one one last square chunk of concrete that i went ahead and put on the top in the middle and laid it inside and that will tie it in with dirt on top of it that'll help tie this back into the um, the backfill into the hillside so i'm gonna do one more layer guys On the back side, I'm packing mud into all the cracks and that helps really lock everything together. Smashing it in there. I need to do some more over here. So I like using the, the tooth side of the trowel to kind of leave some grooves in the mortar uh, for the next row. And that makes it grip a lot better. Gives it something more surface area for the cement to bond to. Yeah, I just keep working this in a little bit, making sure that all my cracks are filled. And uh, yeah, we're good to go, guys. Next row is gonna be those big boys those big concrete blocks. I'm gonna lay three right across here. Alright guys, I'd say this looks pretty darn good. I've got my two long ones that go tied in underneath the rock. And then I got my little border pieces with the concrete on there, the, with the mortar. So a couple of things I can tell you guys. Right now I'm gonna move these rocks around right here and uh, fill that in with all these rocks for erosion control. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. A couple of helpful hints here that I probably forgot to mention as I was building this is make sure you saw me doing it with the wire brush is making sure that the rocks are clean so that you don't have any dirt on there that way the mortar will stick to it make sure your mortar is nice and wet so it will actually bond to the stones as well so taking your time to interlock and find them find the piece that fits just like Tetris use plenty of mortar and uh, you know you can see the little foundation that I built in here that was a nice uh, footing for this whole rock wall, and I tied it into the into the into uh, to the roadbed, and uh, I think this thing's going to hold up just nice. So, 
Let's take a quick look up on top and show what it looks like from the top side. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys coming along. There's the finished product right there. And uh, if you guys wanna leave a comment, share the video. Hopefully you guys learned something on how to do some stone work. And uh, if I didn't do something right, I can count on all you guys to leave that critical uh, criticism and uh, help me out there. So thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video. We'll do an update when the water's flowing uh, real heavy and uh, show you guys how it's holding up a little bit later on uh, in the springtime. So see you guys next video.